Hello everyone, myself Akash Anand and today we will be looking into the third module of this uh, highway planning which is current scenario of roads in India. So today we will be looking into the two aspects of this module that is National Highways Authority of India and what role it has played in introducing the NHDP that is the National Highways uh, Development Project and what all projects are uh, right now uh, going on under this particular uh, project. Okay. okay. So road development plans in India 21st century. So as we have seen in the previous module that the third road development plan that is the Lucknow road development plan uh, it was unable to meet the requirements that or the targets that were set for the national highway or the state highway and uh, that was the reason that uh, national highway Authority of India decided to initiate a project NHDP uh, which can be termed as National Highway Development Project or it can also be named as National Highway Development Program. Now this was implemented in seven phases. So what was the aim of introducing? So NHDP the main aim of uh, this particular project or program was to, NHDP was to upgrade the roads okay, or I can say widening of the roads to a new more defined standard and it was uh, started by 1998 uh, and uh, this was initiated under the leadership of then Prime Minister uh, our Honorable Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Now moving on to the phase one. Uh, so the phase one uh, as we know uh, is termed as golden quadrilateral. So we all know what quadrilateral is. So in this case four different major cities were considered such as Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai and Kolkata and the total length of road that was considered for this was 5846 kilometers. The project cost that was estimated was rupees 30,000 crores and it was funded by various world class banks such as world banks, then Asian development banks, then Japan Bank of International Cooperation and National Highway Authority of India. And this phase started in the year 2000 and the target completion was uh, set to uh, 6 years uh, but the completion year was uh, in the year 2012. Going to the phase 2, so this was uh, majorly concerned with the north-south and the east-west corridor of uh, India and in the north-south corridor it was considered for Srinagar to Kanyakumari while for East to West corridor, the road stretch from Silchar to Porbandar was considered, which also included a lateral spur that uh, range uh, that stretched from uh, Salem to Kochi. Along with that, uh, port connectivity was also given preference in this phase, and the project cost estimated was around rupees thirty-five thousand crores. The target uh, length of road that was uh, kept for this particular phase was uh, 7300 kilometers and uh, the following is the current status that we can see here that the project uh, part that is north south to e uh, east west uh, the scope was around 7142 kilometers out of which 6568 kilometers have been already completed while for the port connectivity uh, the scope that was set was uh, 435 kilometers out of which 383 has already been completed. Moving on to the phase, so here uh, an approval was required for the, so for this purpose the uh, cabinet committee of economic affairs uh, provided approval on 12th of April 2007. The main aim was to upgrade a total road length of 12,109 kilometers and the project cost estimated was rupees 80,626 crores for this particular project. Then uh, the stretches that were considered in this particular uh, phase did not include any of it from the previous two phases that we have seen just now. The main focus of this project was on the stretches where the connectivity was seen uh, regarding the smaller cities or towns, the places of tourism and economic importance and uh, the high density corridors and also the state capitals that were a part of phase 1 and phase 2. Now the current status if we see the completed road stretch is around 7621 kilometers while the balance is 4488 kilometers. 
However, there is a certain issue regarding land acquisition for this case due to which 2,027 kilometers is yet to be awarded. Next is phase 4. So, in this case also the approval was required from CCEA that was uh, uh, received on 18th of June 2008. So, main aim was to uh, upgrade the national highway of a length of 20,000 kilometers to a two lane highway or a four lane highway along with the paved shoulders. The project cost estimated for this was rupees 25,000. So, in this phase 4, the projects uh, came under the EPC or BOT with the toll or NUT mode of payments. So, EPC is engineering, procurement, construction while BOT is the build, operate, transfer. So, there is a basic difference between these two models. So, in the BOT model, what happens is uh, government assigns a work to the private body and it has to finish that particular work and has to hand over the project back to the government. And once that project is under the commercial use, after that only the payment has to be done by the government to that particular private body. While in EPC, the government has to do the payment of whatever cost will be incurred from the beginning of the project itself. Okay. So, the current status can be seen here where the available length is uh, 13,203 kilometers out of which 4,058 kilometers have been already completed and while in uh, the work in progress regarding a stretch of road that we can see here is 6,050 kilometers. Moving on to the next phase that is phase 5. So, this was approved in the year 2006 in the month of October and in this uh, uh, was the 6 laning of the 6500 kilometers of road out of which 5700 kilometers were of the golden quadrilateral that we have seen as a part of phase 1 and the remaining was 800 kilometers. This project cost estimation was rupees 41,210 crores while the current status uh, as we can see here the available length uh, uh, requiring improvement is 6500 kilometers uh, which require the six laning out of which 2564 kilometers have all while the work in progress uh, for a particular uh, stretch of road out of this 6500 kilometers as we can see here is 1428 kilometers going to the next phase uh, so this was approved in november 2006 and the major focus was on 1000 kilometers of expressway sections. So, these expressway sections uh, belong to the following categories uh, as we can see here. So, the roads that were considered here for the expressway uh, sections uh, were Bangalore to Chennai where a stretch of 262 kilometers of road was considered while from Mumbai to Vadodara it was 150 kilometers and then in similar way Greenfield Delhi to Merat, Eastern Peripheral Expressway and so on. The estimated project cost was rupees 16,680 crores. While the current status, if we see here, the available length of stretch of road is 1000 kilometers, out of which 0 kilometers have been completed so far, and the work in progress is going on for 184 kilometers of road stretch. This one, uh, sorry, going to phase 7, uh, that was approved in. December 2007 and the main focus was on the ring roads, bypasses, uh, road uh, over bridges, underpasses, service roads, etc. Uh, based on BOT mode. So, by now I think you all will be aware about what is BOT mode. Okay. So, uh, there are few examples of such roads uh, that we have seen just now. So, Bangalore, Mysore, similarly bypass of my, uh, Madurai city, then bypasses of uh, uh, Nagpur city and so on. There are various road stretches that were considered for this particular phase. Now, the estimated project cost for this particular project was rupees 16,680 crores. Uh, now, looking into the current status, the available length of road is 700 kilometers out of which 22 kilometers of stretch of road has already been completed while the remaining of uh, work in progress we can say uh, see that 94 kilometers of stretch of road of work is still going on. So, in the next module we will be uh, looking into the SARDP that is uh, regarding the north east roads where we will discuss uh, about 
the two phases phase a and b and then arunachal pradesh package that will be a part of it along with that we will be looking into the left wing extremism uh, road plan as well along with that the vision 2021 and 2025 road development plan will also be discussed as part of module 4 thank you